Okay, um, I guess we're going to start with our next session. And we have Chris Kopfila, and he's the student <laughs> here in the master's program. Um, he's going to talk about Magento open source e commerce. What's the first marketing? Oh, that's just what I work for. They paid me to learn. They paid me to learn. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, okay, hi everybody. Uh, first, I just want to check everybody can hear me. I'm not a huge fan of microphones. Uh, I'm projecting well enough in the back. We're good. Awesome. So, uh, hi everyone, and welcome to Magento Open Source E-Commerce uh, here at the uh, 2012 ASIS Open Source Festival. Uh, my name is Chris, uh, and I'll be presenting today. Um, so before I get started, uh, I just wanted to say that this presentation was built as a technical presentation. Uh, after seeing the whole list of other presentations, uh, I got a little worried um, that by blabbering on about software design patterns, I might uh, sort of miss my audience. Um, and so this presentation is a little bit more about how Magento makes open source work for them. Uh, but don't be fooled. Uh, I am super passionate about software design patterns and principles. we will be more than willing to talk with anybody uh, about those after the presentation. Uh, so before that, um, who am I? Uh, I graduated from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute back in 2005 with a BSBA in Computer Science and Philosophy. Uh, currently I'm a master's student in the uh, Library Science program here at SUNY Albany. Uh, and I'm also a part-time web application developer for Burst Marketing. I'm going to talk a little bit about Burst Marketing because they paid me to learn uh, everything about Magento uh, and that's why I can present to you today. Um, Burst Marketing is a, a local marketing and web development firm. Uh, we work with Magento, WordPress, and CodeIgniter, uh, which we use to meet clients' e-commerce, content management, and custom application needs. Um, we do a lot of websites for local businesses, Hoffman Car Wash, Bowman Orchards, Count on Ski Resort, a lot of uh, state agencies and advocacy groups. Um, and just a, a brief but shameless plug, uh, we have a pretty great internship program at Burst. Uh, if you're interested in doing web development or uh, just want to know more about the industry, you can feel free to contact me uh, after the talk or send me an email. Um, and that can be done at uh, albany.edu or I'm also on Twitter, unfortunately, um, at K-O-T-F-I-C and uh, kofik at gmail.edu. Okay, so that's who I am. Who is Magento? Uh, Magento uh, was formerly a company named Varian. Uh, they just changed their name to Magento Incorporated. Uh, founded in 2001 by uh, Roy Rubin and Joab Kutner, uh, who I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, originally, Varian was one of the largest OS commerce development companies in the market, but uh, citing issues with scalability and code stability in OS commerce, Varian began working on Magento in January of 2007. Uh, releasing their first version that August. Uh, it's been an interesting four or five years, uh, but in February of 2011, eBay announced that they had made a large investment in Magento, uh, and by June 6th, they bought Magento outright. Um, so eBay plans to roll Magento into its new e-commerce initiative, uh, and the fate of Magento, both as an open source uh, software and as a separate product, is a little uncertain right now. Everyone's saying it's going to be fine, but who knows? Um, so what is Magento? Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about features that Magento provides you out of the box. Um, oh, not yet though. Uh, Magento is a, a feature-rich e-commerce platform with uh, more than 60,000 merchants worldwide. Um, Magento has over 4 million downloads uh, with over 50,000 downloads daily. Uh, Magento, website, Magento websites do 25 billion, uh, that's billion with a B, uh, dollars in transactions annually. Uh, and uh, Magento is actually a couple of different uh, pieces of software, including a, a community edition, an enterprise edition, and a uh, software as a service that's called Magento Go. So what does Magento do uh, out of the box for you? The first thing is catalog management. Uh, the catalog is just an organized, usually hierarchical list of products. Uh, Magento provides full administration of products including the creation, of, uh, creation and management of custom attribute sets for different product types. Uh, Magento provides batch import and export catalogs. Uh, it also has Google Base integration, which is how merchants get their products and websites to show up in that uh, little right-hand column when you uh, search for mint 1970s Star Wars action figures on Google. Um, Magento also has full support for downloadable and digital products. Uh, ebooks, video content, stuff like that. 
uh, advanced pricing and special pricing rules for doing promotions and discounting based on customizable user groups. Magento has really great uh, catalog browsing features, including layered and faceted uh, based navigation. Um, this lets you do things like uh, search for all products in the technology category that are under $100 and that were released in the last three months. Uh, so not the iPad 2, uh, iPad. Uh, Magento also uh, does product comparisons uh, and also has a whole system for submitting and managing product reviews. Uh, Magento's checkout uh, is a one-page checkout. It's a really nice Ajax-based checkout that allows you to seamlessly go back and edit or change information that's already been entered, things like shipping and billing addresses, types of shipping, custom messages for gifts, stuff like that. Uh, Magento uh, supports checking out either with a fully created account or uh, as a guest, uh, as well as shipping to multiple addresses in a single order. Um, payment, uh, Magento supports multiple payment gateways, things like PayPal, Authorize.net, um, and for new and more obscure payment gateways, Magento has a whole extension manager called Magento Connect. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, uh, new payment processors can make extensions available for easy download and installation. Uh, Magento also provides configurable authorization and capturing of funds, so merchants can track and modify the entire life cycle of a user's payment. Magento provides full user accounts. Uh, users can do things like reorder previously ordered items, access, access their downloadable or virtual products, uh, view and track their recently ordered items, as well as add new shipping and billing addresses, modify and share their wish lists, a whole bunch of other functionality. Uh, for the merchant, uh, Magento provides complete order management um, from creating, uh, viewing, editing, and fulfilling orders uh, to invoicing orders, creating shipping and credit memos, and a whole bunch of other great analytics uh, for tracking the growth of the store. Um, one of the cool things too, Magento is also mobile ready. Uh, if you install Magento, it's just a configuration in order to have a mobile store optimized for the iPhone. Um, so now that we have a better idea of what Magento does, uh, I wanted to read this quote from Roy Rubin, the CEO of Varian, uh, before we get more into what exactly Magento means when it calls itself open source. Uh, open source is the way to go. It has some inherent advantages in the fact that it's open. The merchant is under control. They have access to the code. They can make the changes and modifications and are not restricted to a proprietary model or vendor lock-in model. I believe in an open source model. You can always grow, take the code with you, and make any modifications or changes to the system. So, if you're like me, you probably whipped out your iPhone or iPad or whatever and have been checking through Magento's website while I've been giving this presentation. Don't worry, I'm not offended. Uh, maybe some of you noticed that Magento uh, has been profitable with increasing revenues every year of existence. Uh, maybe you're asking yourself, how is that even possible in an open source model? Well, a lot of companies that are committed to or interested in open source have asked this very same question. And often the business model goes something like this. Step one, create a great open source solution to a problem with a real market. Step two. <laughs> Step three, profit. Magento has taken a slightly more principled approach and is following a paradigm often referred to as the open core model. Uh, also known as proprietary licensing, the open core model means that the company makes a core set of functionality available as open source software and then sells non-open source proprietary add-ons. Uh, this is sometimes referred to as the new shareware uh, and is a source of some contention in the open source community. Uh, some say that this is the way forward for open source software, uh, it gives companies a reason to open their code bases. Um, others say that uh, it's just a gimmick that companies pull as a marketing campaign and uh, have dubbed this model uh, rather pejoratively as crippleware. Um, really, the open core model tries to balance the benefits of an open source community of developers with the real business need to remain profitable. Um, the great thing about an open source community is you get all the advantages of developers who you don't have to pay, looking at your code, submitting patches and bug reports, and suggesting new features. Uh, the problem is, any development company's main business asset is their code base. Uh, if it's free, how can that company remain solvent? The open core model is an attempt to walk the line between those two opposing needs or desires. Uh, so let's start with the Enterprise Edition, um, also known as how Varian makes its money. Uh, Enterprise Edition is closed source. Uh, it is an array of support packages provided by Magento. 
Uh, some of the features that it includes that are not considered to be a part of the open core or the closed stuff that you don't get access to uh, are call center and advanced marketing integration, uh, RMAs, uh, return merchandise authorizations with a bunch of customized resolution options. So if you want to return or exchange a product uh, and get a refund, uh, that can be handled through the system. Uh, easy integration with third-party applications such as ERPs and CRMs and a couple other acronyms that may already be a part of a client's business process. Uh, ensure PCI compliance. Uh, PCI compliance is how the credit card companies and the payment gateways ensure that your site is safe and secure and that you're hopefully not going to get hacked and release a whole lot of credit card information. Uh, so large companies really need PCI compliance. Um, Enterprise Edition isn't cheap though. A uh, single server license is just over $14,000. And uh, premium support from Magento uh, begins at just under $50,000 annually. Annually. Uh, Magento's Community Edition, um, uh, which is what we're talking about uh, when we talk about open source platform for e-commerce, is the uh, open source version of Enterprise Edition. Uh, it includes only the core functionality, which is all the features that I just talked about. Um, and some other odds and ends. Uh, Community Edition has no official feature support uh, from Magento, and the new features that enter the core uh, are usually dictated by upstream, upstream changes to the Enterprise Edition. Community Edition is covered by the Open Source License 3, which is issued by the Open Source Institute. We'll talk about that more in a moment. Uh, despite there being no official support, CE has a robust community of developers and active forums for troubleshooting and advice on best practices. Uh, CE has a pretty sophisticated package manager called Magento Connect that lets merchants download and install community created extensions and themes without having to get their hands dirty in any actual code. Um, with industry uh, leading functionality out of the box, Magento CE has uh, sort of become the go-to platform for web development companies worldwide. Uh, while it may not have all the functionality of Enterprise Edition, it has uh, a, robust, a robust set of features. It really does a great job of sort of resisting the crippleware label. Uh, out of the box, it, it really can solve 90% of uh, mid-range companies' problems. 